Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 2075, where we have 35 moves to clear out 21 jelly and reach 70. No, nope, that's 42,000 points. It's a little late. Um, so we've got the jelly trapped under this skull of double thick frosting. We've got some striped candy just to help us, but right now they're also intermixed with these ticking time bombs, and that's not going to be helpful. So we're going to try to hack through this frosting and get over to this area, and of course, one of our wonderful benefits will be we've got the frog here and then we get to fill the frog. Now I really want to set this off with a stripe at this point in time. So I'm going to be working on making some stripes. I don't have a lot of room here, but still there's still quite a bit of blue. And I'm going to hope that I can get a really good advantage. All the stripes went off. It took off all of our ticking time bombs. That's no longer an issue. Now, if I can still make some stripes and wraps up here to strike against this, I will. I don't know if I'm going to be able to match that with a stripe. It's a good thought, but it's probably going to, yeah, explode. Uh, let's see. Fill the frog and continue to look for opportunities. Here we go to strike this area. Now, the problem with filling the frog, besides the fact that it takes a while, is that he's not actually the most helpful creature um, in this area because he can bung up the works. He kind of makes um, it tough to move around. But when I've got a couple of ticking time bombs on the board, I don't mind. Oh, I don't have him filled yet. I was thinking, yeah, I can move him because I usually have him filled quite quickly. There we go. So I can move him have him take this out and then hopefully fill him again with a color. Just investigating all of my opportunities. Now he's filled again and I can move him again and I can fill him again. I can't make any color bombs here so I'm going to move him down to this area, take out more of this frosting. Oh, I'm going to make some moves directly on here while I can and hope that this doesn't explode and go away. This is really important while I have access to this area. If I can reach in here. Ooh, ooh, do you know what else is really important? A nice wrapped, wrapped combo. That's super important. That's more important than filling that frog again. You better not explode. Because I'm busy over here. Ah, oh, there it goes. Shoot. Well, we took out a color and it happened to be blue when we filled the frog again. Woohoo! And look what we did. We made another color bomb. And that's kind of what you have to do on this board is just uh, look for those opportunities to make those specials. Oh, we turned him into a striped candy. I kind of love when he does all these different little tricks for us. So he's striped. We're going to, or I mean wrapped. He's wrapped, so we're going to blow him up. He acts like a wrapped candy. All right, so now I think we've got Three left, purple, purple, and green. Shoot, I can't take out green. If I could take out, well, no, then that would drop that purple. I'm going to take out all the purple and see what happens here. Ha, ha another color bomb. I don't even think I have to do anything. There we go. So that's how I beat level 2075. This was not an immediate thing for me. I know it looks like, ah, oh, I got it on my first try. No, you didn't get to see the eight times I tried that I didn't beat it. But I employed the same strategy each time, um, being careful to move the frog over here unless um, I could uh, easily fill him with a color bomb from this area, and uh, really just worked on making as many color bombs as I could and taking out the stripes before um, the ticking time bombs explode me. It's just that on this particular board, the strategy paid off. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.